students, this is Mrs. Gearhart, and I am going to show you how to do many of the glazing techniques so that you can use this on your project. Before you can start glazing, you must make sure to have all of your supplies, which includes your wood board, newspaper, a container of water, half full, a variety of brushes so that you can use them with the different techniques, a sponge if you need it, and then of course all of your different glazes. Notice there's different kinds. You'll be able to have two different kinds. One is your Amico glazes and the other one is your Myco Stroke and Coat glazes. If you're unsure of the colors, be sure to check the glaze, the glaze tile boards, which will be up at the front of the room. When you get your glazes, make sure you are checking this label that says whether it's food safe. Looking at this one that's called Tiger Eye, it does not say food safe. Food safe would have a little icon that has a fork and a knife and that indicates that it is safe for you to use so that you can eat or drink out of your container. When you use your glaze, the first step is to shake your bottles. You wanna make sure you're mixing them all up. So you can take a couple of your different bottles, mix them up, shake them. That way you know you're all set. And then you will need to make sure that you have your project prepared. It should be at the bone dry or very, very hard leather hard stage. If it feels a really cold, then that means there's still moisture in it and you can only glaze the small details. You can't do big areas. Mine is pretty much bone dry, so it doesn't have a lot of moisture. So I can probably do a lot of my big areas today. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna choose my glazes. So I have a variety of glazes here. I have the Amico and the Myco, of course. And I'm gonna start with dark yellow inside. You can choose to do the outside or the inside first. Make sure you shake up your glazes. And when you use your glazes, you're going to go straight from the bottle. You're not gonna put it in a little container. You'll just bring your glaze over here. Make sure to dip your brush in. And you will have to do at least three layers of your colors. Now I'm gonna do the inside of mine so that it's dark yellow. And this would be your basic brush stroke. So whenever you're glazing, you would just apply this on, like so. And I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but that way you guys can see how it looks. Now watch, the glaze is going to change color. It's gonna change tint. So we have to wait for it to dry a little bit. You can see that it's starting to change that color. That means that the glaze is dry. So remember, you have to do three even coats for your glaze. So I would need to go over top of this three times. Remember, basic stroke is just applying the glaze. If you need more, just dip it right back into your bottle. And we can try to do this whole inside. If you notice you have little bumps that you can't get, this is where your dabbing technique comes in. So you can push your brush against it to get that dabbing technique. And again, I'm just trying to do my even coats first. So you try to do one coat at a time to make sure to cover it. So I'm doing the inside of mine as a dark yellow color because this relates to my monkey breath. Now, I'm not completely done but you're going to have yours done. So this would be, say, my first coat. I'd have to let it dry, and then I would do my second coat. That was your basic brush stroke and your dabbing technique. Now, I'm gonna put this down. When you go to wash your brush, just swirl it around in the water. Kind of tap it out. And then the newspaper can be for you to use to wipe this off. Your other techniques that you have include detailing and then a special technique called scraffito. So if you're doing detailing, 
This is whenever you take the little brush, and I'm just gonna use this as the example. And you're gonna try to get into all those little areas that you want. So this is really good for doing the small pieces first. Remember, when you do your whole project, start with the small pieces. So any very small details, like your designs for your food, maybe a cherry, um, maybe it could be the icing, well, sprinkles on the icing. Then you'll move on to the bigger areas. So detailing is when you just take your brush and go right against it. If you don't have a lot of glaze on your brush and you're just kind of getting the rest of it off, that is called your scrubbing technique. Again, I'm gonna wash this, rub it on my newspaper, put my brush back, and then if you wanna do a really interesting technique, this is called scraffito. Scraffito is when you can take your hook tool or a loop tool or even a needle tool to carve into the clay. So I'm gonna carve here, and you can see when I'm carving it, it takes away the glaze and goes a little bit deeper. So that means whenever it would dry, that would be the color of the actual clay, the red clay. Those are all the different techniques. Not a whole lot, so it's pretty simple to remember. And anytime you are putting away your glaze, make sure you t put that cap back on nice and tight because people are gonna shake it and this can fly everywhere. So those are your supplies. Make sure to have your brushes and then you'll do small details first, then the larger areas, and you have to do three even coats minimum. Probably try to go for four. If you have any questions, remember I will be back on Tuesday and you can ask me then. I hope you all have fun glazing.